Right there guys, what I've got here is a setup for how to wire up our four channel DMX receiver, which is one of these little beauties. Uh, these are either 12 or 24 volts. Uh, I've got this one powered up as 24 volts, as you can probably see from the power supplies up there, because uh, I'm using 24 volt tape. Now, as you can see on here, the input, I'll turn it the right way so you can read it. The input is on the left hand side of this terminal block with your DC in 12 or 24 volts, V minus on the left, V plus on the right. So, all I've done up here, I've run separate cables from my power supplies with my minus on the right hand side as you look at it and my plus on the left. I've done that to both of them and I've made sure that there is no stray wires so there is no chance of them to short. And then after that, you'll see that you've got the output with your V plus, your red channel, green channel, blue channel and white channel. Now these are the negatives for that positive. So all I've done when I've wired up these strips I've put my black cable into the plus, my red cable into the R, my green cable into the G, my blue cable into the B, and my white cable into the W. Uh, the other side of these, you'll see here that I have my wall controller here with a Cat5 RJ45 cable going in, another RJ45 coming out into the other receiver. Now this is standard Cat45, uh, Cat this is standard Cat5 uh, data cable and this is just solely for the signal side of things, so the signal is coming out of this controller. You can daisy chain these together like I have here, there's no particular way around that these two terminals will go. Um, I have shown it like this just because it looks nicer in the video, so I've got my signal coming in on the left out on the right and then in on the right in on the left there you can daisy chain as many of these receivers as you wish uh, all i would do if i wanted to add another one i just plug it in there and do exactly the same as i've done here so just plug it in wire it up exactly the same and away you go as i say these rj45 connectors here they are not dedicated input and output, they are both. Um, but for, you know, my own, um, let's call it OCD, I just wanted it nice and presentable for you guys while you're watching this. Now this wall controller, you'll see I also have the black and red DC in cable coming out here. That's just going to a separate um, 24 volt DC power supply uh, that I couldn't fit in the frame of this video. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that's where that goes. And on the back here, I've got my DC negative on the far left, my DC positive on the far right, and then my two data cables from the RJ45 in the middle with my orange on the left middle and my orange and white in the right middle. Now they have to go that way around, otherwise the DMX signal will not work. Uh, this DMX controller is our white plastic type. We do also have a stainless steel type. Um, I just happen to have this one all like half wired up already um, and I just had it to hand so I thought I would be able to show you that one. Uh, with this controller, as you can see, if I set it to colour, you can change the colours using the controller itself. And you can click it in to get your pastel colours, like so. I'm going to stick that back to fade. On the other side of this receiver, you'll see that you have the dip switches here. Now these are standard DMX binary protocol. Uh, so you'll notice that dip switch 1 is down for channel 1. That's about it, there's not a lot to this controller. Um, yeah, that's the general appearance, that's how you would wire it up. Just make sure you have your DC in going in there, your RGBW tape going in there, and your DMX signals either in or out on the bottom here.